It is that time of the year again. I can't believe it. I know I'm a little bit late, but it's time for Halloween. Halloween. Are you ready? I'm ready. I've just been busy. That's all. I went in to TJ Maxx for not Halloween stuff. I was like, we have so much already. Don't need any more. Wrong. Always wrong. This is the time of year where I can buy homewares, so I'm going to go looking. And they had so much good stuff. I thought that they weren't going to have good stuff, and they did. The first thing that I'll show you is these bone candles. This is two candlesticks that are in the shape of human bones, or you know, non-human bones. But for me, I feel yeah, you know, human. I got two, and they were I think they were five ninety nine. Yes, $5.99. I got some of these last year. And I just got one pair last year because that's all I could find. And I did not think they were going to have them again. But they did. On an end cap behind other candles. I had to like sniff them out. And I found them. But last year I got a pair and um, I put them in my little claw foot. Really nice. Um these the candlesticks? I put them in this. Um, I had a pair of these from Target that was also last year, maybe the year before, uh, and, and it broke. I don't, it just, I, this is really heavy on the bottom too, so I don't know if it broke in a different holder or what, but all I'm saying is that at the joints here, these are really, really fragile. Both of both of the ones that I had from last year are broken. Uh, and if you have any tips on how to fix this broken candle, please, please leave them down below. Because I've tried a couple things, hasn't worked out. So it has two points of severe weakness. So I would put them in a place where you're not going to have kids or animals or people bumping in to it. Um, not a highly trafficked area. And I would definitely find a candle holder that this fits snugly into or, you know, find some sort of like fastener to, to hold it down because these are very top heavy um, and, you know, the bottom is really thin. But they are amazing and I can't believe I found them. Let me see like all the detail there. Ooh. Yeah. It's from, I don't know, it says Bella Lux on it. Whatevs. It was $5.99 and I'm like super, super stoked about it. So I have four of them now and two broken ones. The next thing that I got, I don't really remember what order because it was all a whirlwind. I was so excited. Oh yes, it was in the candle section. So it was this honey pumpkin candle. I had two of these last year, but they were tiny little size. This one, it smells like, it's very hard to describe, but it does kind of smell pumpkin-y, like pumpkin pie. But almost has like a little bit of a citrusy thing going on too. I think it this was $6.99 as well, but I did take this off. Or those were $5.99. This was $6.99. So they had two more and I wanted to get them, but I had to rein myself in. The good thing about this is that when you're done with the candle, you can still use this jar and it will be like, it'll still be the candy corn jar. You'll have this thing on it, so you can like just turn it around if you want. Next, I was totally, <laughs> I was not intending to get any mugs because we have a lot of mugs. We have a, an obscene amount of mugs, but I really do like to get a mug every year at Halloween. I got this guy, so cute. I love it so much. It, this was $3.99. Got two of them because Evan wanted one as well so we can have little matching bat mugs with coffee or tea or cereal. I don't know. They're, it's huge so you could definitely eat a meal out of this thing. Continuing on with the liquid holding theme. These are two they're all fingerprinty, I'm sorry. Um, these, I'll just hold one up, are really nice glasses. This is definitely like etched on, if you can hear that. We got two of these last year 
because that's all they had when we went to TJ Maxx. So they were just two. Or maybe it was the year before. I don't know. They all run together. It's probably last year though if they have them this year. But they're really bottom heavy. So it's good for, it's, it's really good to serve cocktails in or wine, things like that. It's a really like sort of secure feeling glass. It says don't put them in the dishwasher, but we've been doing that. Uh, so don't put these in the dishwasher. These were $2.99 a piece and they had five there and I bought them all because we love these glasses so much that we're probably gonna get rid of some of the other glasses that we have. We have a lot of spooky glasses and these are by far our favorite so we're probably gonna be getting rid of some, clearing them out to make room for these. So I think all together now we have seven because they have five and I bought them all. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go around to the other TJ Maxx's and see if I can get like maybe three, three more or something just in case we have a party and you know, there are people, I don't know. I just like those glasses and I want them all. That's all I have to say. Then we have a little tea break. This is green tea. Probably should not be drinking green tea at half past midnight, but I am because there's too much stuff to do in the day to do this stuff. So I have to do it at night when I should be sleeping. <laughs> so please don't judge my midnight green teas. I'm starting to fade. It's okay. I'm here and I'm excited about it. The next thing that I got, this set of cheese knives, which is really funny because I don't eat cheese anymore. <laughs> Not fair. Well, I'm still getting a, I don't care if I don't eat cheese. I'm still buying a cheese knife set that's cute. Duh. It's from, it says Wicked from Circa. And then the packaging is really cute. Like the little uh, ghosties. This was $12.99, so it was a little more pricey, but it is stainless steel and ceramic. Oh, look, and they have little purposes and everything on the back. You can see like what kind of, this is like the soft cheese knife and the what kind of fork is that? I don't know. Whatever, I don't know, we're probably not, I mean, we'll probably use it for cheese, but I will probably be using it for something, I don't know, else other than cheese. But this one is obviously my favorite because it just looks like something that Pinhead would have, you know, in his back pocket, right? Doesn't it? A little adorable or maybe like a tiny pyramid head, you know? So anyway, these are skulls, if you can see the skull detailing here. So cute. And they're, it's kind of like distressed around the eye sockets and such. If you can really tell. But I love them and I think they're so cute. And I've just always wanted really violent looking cheese knives. I'm just, I'm super stoked about these. Next, I uh, got this little tiny plate. Is made in Italy. That is fancy right there. Made in Italy. Yes. I just thought it was really cute because it had like scalloped edges and the skull is like uh, painted on there I, I guess and then glazed over. We love serving plates and we don't have a serving plate that is like this size and you know, our, the rest of our dinner plates are sort of like skull and white. So this goes really well with them. And I don't know, I was just really stoked. And it was like at the end of my buying and I was like, ah, it's just one more thing. And it's cute and it was made in Italy. So I just, I just, oh, I gotta have it. You know, it's just one of those things. It's like a, like an itch that you have to scratch. But it's super nice and it was $4.99. So what, what are you gonna do? You're gonna buy it. That's what you're gonna do. That's what you gotta do. The last and biggest thing is this serving bowl. I don't know if it's that's technically the name of it. What does it say that it is? It just says uh, it's a bowl. Wow. Okay. So it's just a giant serving bowl. Like you could put a big salad in there or make a gigantic pie or, you know, put your fruit in there, could be a fruit bowl. This, these flowers and the skull, we have plates and, and bowls and stuff for our dinner plates that look quite similar. So 
I saw it and I was like, oh, I gotta get that because we need something big. We don't have something that's this nice and is spooky and is this big. And this is heavy. It does say that it's dishwasher safe. Yeah, and microwave safe, but I don't even think this would fit in the microwave. It has this sort of like dark floral pattern on there. There is like a, like a seam on it or something. I don't know, like if you can see, where is it, where is it? There it is. It's like a little bitty, like an almost like a wallpaper seam. So it doesn't like continue. I don't know, it's fine. It's a glitch in the matrix of this little serving bowl. Anyway, I super love it. Serving bowl. I swear, I'm not Martha Stewart or anything. It's just like, you guys know if you're spooky, this is the time of year where you go and get your household items. That's also another thing that I wanna mention. We don't buy plates or dishes or anything household related really unless it's like construction or cleaning throughout the rest of the year because we want to wait for all the spooky stuff so this is when we can you know get new mugs or buy new nice candles and you know stuff like that so i mean i wouldn't recommend unless you're going to use this stuff throughout the year i don't think i would recommend going and buying these things for just like for your party or you know for, to use for a month. Just don't feel like you need to go and spend all this stuff because uh, because I did, or buy all this stuff because I did. Unless, you know, you have a house and you need to have things to use in it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do like a vlog traveling to the Halloween shops. Anyway, I hope you guys are well and you're having a lovely September and um, I'll see you all in my next video.